This game is tea and is not suitable for kids. <laughs> Don't let your kids watch it! Hey there, honey! Let's go! Castlevania Portrait of Ruin! There we go! It's another one that was requested. So here you go, Proxima, if you're still around. Congratulations, we're about to play some DS Castlevania. Licensed by Nintendo with Konami. Castlevania, Portrait of Ruin. Ooh, I like the sound design. That looks nice. Frogger, he's back. <laughs> Frogger, he's back looks a little different. This is originally 86. Ooh. Them DS graphics, though. I know there are two playable characters in this, Jonathan and Charlotte. I have liter also, folks, never played a Castlevania be game before in my entire life. So this is definitely going to be interesting. <laughs> We're twins. We have different colored eyes, but each eye is a mirror of the other. Oh, wow. This looks awesome. This is DS graphics? This is fantastic graphics for the DS. Like, my gosh. Oh, I'm pumped. This game's gonna be awesome. This game's gonna be awesome! I, I do know who the final boss is, and it's a legendary final boss. Anyhow, welcome to Castlevania Portrait of Ruin. Yes, oh, I'm I'm happy you chose this, too. I'm excited. Let's, let's just go straight to game start. Oh. <laughs> we, we already watched that. Yeah. I just say game start. Oh! I pushed... Okay, that's right. It's DS controls. Ha 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 ha. New game, please. What's your name? Oh, I am deaf and none can tell if I open the door to heaven or hell. Uh, oh, use the stylus to draw. Use oh, boy! Alright, folks. It's time to draw our avatar. Or at least our avatar as best we can. The DS. Uh, where's the fill tool? <laughs> oh, the insignias. That's funny. I like it. No, I uh, undo. There we go. Is there, like, you know, a fill button, maybe? That would be pretty nice. There's no fill button. I guess it's a tiny enough screen. We don't need the fill button. We named ourselves Deaf, but we're giving us the Artie insignia. Yeah, you're telling me. Awesome music here. So, given the fact that it was dated with a 1986 and like a 2000 date, so am I to assume that this is a remake of a previous Castlevania game? I don't know. I thought it was its own unique theme on the DS, but apparently not. It's probably a remake of an NES game. Nope. Oh, we only get one color. Gee, that's a shame. Okay. Well, you know what we're doing then, folks. I don't normally do this, but... We are deaf, so... We'll be... Nah, not Halloween already. There we go. Oh, wow, that's creepy. Oh, 1986 was just the start of the series. Okay, never mind. 1944, the world is in chaos. The Second World War has claimed millions of lives, leveled cities, destroyed nations, the souls of the wars, dead blanket on the planet, lost, hurt, and angry. Their anguish summons an accursed castle of legend. What? That's not how that works. It has happened many times throughout history. No, it hasn't! Bringing with it evil and darkness, the castle of Dracula, the lord of evil. It arrives in man's darkest hour to push us over the brink into ruin. This takes place during... Freaking World of War Two! I was not expecting that one. Mm 
Hmm. Oh, this guy looks nice. That whip! There's no mistaking it! You're Jonathan Morris! Good day, and you are... Ah, oh, forgive me. I am Vincent Doran. By order of the church, I have been awaiting you. To think that the master of the legendary vampire killer would come here! A blessing indeed. Too bad he can't actually use it. Charlotte, can, can't you even pretend to play alone for once? Well, that's the truth, isn't it? You can't lie to a priest. But what? Are you suggesting that whip is a fake, then? It's true. I can't use the vampire killer. This whip wasn't actually passed down through my family. You've heard of the Belmont family, haven't you? Why, of course I have. They've used that whip for generations to destroy Dracula whenever he comes around. And that family is related to the Morris family by blood. Been doing your research, huh? Unfortunately, the fact is, we're not the true successors. No problem, though. I've won every battle till now without the whip. Not one loss. Lucky you have me to help you out. Yes, I was wondering about that. And you are... Well, excuse me. If you're from the church, then remember this. I'm Charlotte Alden. Charlotte? I've heard that name before. Charlotte. Oh! You must be the great magician everyone's been talking about! Heh <laughs> Great, you say. Unbelievable! To think that she was a mere child! She has no pupils. Oh, uh, well, I mean such a lovely young lady. You heard that? Jonathan, he called me lovely. So anyway, Vincent, you had some business with me? <laughs> well, yes, yes, I do. I've been ordered to assist you in your quest. I've brought potions with me, but, well... Well, what? It's a matter of economics. You want us to pay you, right? Uh, well, if you insist. Sure, no problem. I think we can take care of that. I couldn't care less. But more importantly, the castle? Is that really Dracula's castle? No one has seen Dracula thus far. However, the church insists that it is indeed Dracula's castle. No doubt about it. This castle is pulsing with dark magical power. I can't imagine it's anything but the castle of Lord Dracula that I studied in the books. Sounds like fun. Come on, better get going then. Charlotte, right with you. Be careful. I'll search for a safe place. I'll meet you inside. Godspeed. Charlotte seems like a contender for best yeah. girl. Oh, wait. He just yeah. said, I can't use the whip. Oh, hey. Press press the Y button to use the whip. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Clearly, that's the best move in the game. All right. Just getting a... Uh, just get an idea for the controls. Yeah. Okay. So it looks like you don't need the touch screen this far. Entrance! Oh boy, it's written in blood. Thank goodness. Boop doop boop boop. Boop doop boop boop boop. Go to the castle. Switch with the main character with X. Are they the same? No, they are not. Charlotte doesn't even have a whip. Jonathan! Call a partner with A. Press again to send the partner away. Oh, I love it. I can't get the bridge to open on my own. Maybe if there were two of us. Pr try pressing A to call your partner. Good job, Charlotte. At ease. I love it. We go right into the gameplay after we talk with the priest. Party at Dracula's. Can't wait for the monsters. Wow. I know this is a Castlevania game. I have heard Castlevania games are no joke when it comes to their difficulty. Oh no! A bat! <laughs> we got a short sword. I don't know. I mean, Charlotte seems like she's just way worse. She has no range. Even if she's more powerful somehow. Save the game? Why, well, yes, I think I will. Da, da, da. Uh, uh. Oh, is this just a dead end room? Lame. Da, 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 da. Charlotte does one extra damage, but she has to be right next to the people to attack them. I was not expecting this funky music to be in a Castlevania game. Aha! Look at that, Charlotte! See your book do that. Wow, your book did that. 
Oh, hi! So that's where the Minotaur left us. I feel like playing on Charlotte is playing on hard mode. Deal with him, Charlotte! <laughs> Slow him down. Thanks for the beef jerky! <laughs> Later, loser. Uh, throwing knife used by hunters. Press up and Y to use. Use this MP on use. Okay. I can I can work with that. Oh, wow. There's a lot of save points here. Definitely giving me Metroid vibes. I know they're kind of similar. The, the genre is called Metroidvania for a reason. Is there something I'm missing with Charlotte, or does she just, like, hardcore suck? It definitely seems like Jonathan's the way to go. Wait, Cube! Call partner with down and A to have the partner stand still on the spot. Stay! Oh, she'll get... Oh, she gets magic. Okay, well, that would help. Not what I wanted to do. I actually wanted to swap to her. There we go. Raging fire. Fire a burst of flame. Thanks, Charlotte. You've been a great help. Now we're getting to the tougher enemies. This also kind of gives me um, Zelda 2 vibes. And that's not a bad thing. I actually like Zelda 2. Book of Spirits. Display the names of enemies when you attack them. Cool. I'm digging the game thus far. First Castlevania game, and I'm enjoying it, for sure. Headguard. I don't know what half this stuff does, but... Entrance. Oh, it's like the map room from... Oh, wow, the map system is even the same as, like, Zero Mission and Fusion and all the likes. Okay. Is it, like, a touchscreen thing? No. Bro, you can't, like, crawl or anything? I have an equipment man. Oh, yeah! That would probably be nice to know. I have the vampire killer. I also have a short sword. Oh, is that why, is that why Charlotte sucks right now? Because I haven't equipped anything on her. Encyclopedia, one of Charlotte's favorite books. An encyclopedia of weaponry. Yeah, that'll increase her attack. I didn't realize we had this. Use item. Oh, here we go. I see. No, I don't want to suspend, actually. Talk to your partner. We can do that. Objects outlined in blue when stepped on will trigger some sort of reaction. I see. Yay. Okay. Charlotte. Can you, like, can you fit through here? Stay! There we go. Charlotte's helping out in combat now. Whoops, didn't mean to do that. 
Oh wait, your mana just restores over time? Oh! Then I should not feel bad about using throwing knives. Sweet, okay. Definitely can get behind this. Level up! Wait, we have a leveling system in this? Did not know about that. Good job, Charlotte. Uh, beep. Whoa, yay, rotten meat. I can't wait to eat that. Might as well save our progress and refill our HP. I have a feeling this game's gonna get real tough eventually. <laughs> Just strikes me as that kind of game. Uh, There's another way to go for this room, and that's the way we go. Oh, maybe we can't reach all the way over there? Darn it! I keep getting hit by these stupid uh, swords. I must, I'm missing something, that's for sure. Because I feel like I've explored everywhere on the map I can. Can we really not go... Can you seriously not go through there? It seems very dumb. Is there anything else we can do in this room? Okay, yes, I know this is the entrance. Is that all it's telling me? Charlotte. What if Charlotte reads it? If something's troubling you, it's important that we talk. I can handle things myself. I prefer it that way. Let's just both do our best. Oh, that's fast travel. You need a second one. Okay. Jonathan. Is there a way to crawl in this? Because, wow, it seems dumb that we can't move through here. Jonathan. We don't have the ability to get down and walk while hunched. Wait, was this room always here? Something's here? That's, that's what I was thinking! It's not human. A monster? No, wait! I sense no evil from him. Ah, uh, you can sense me. Who are you? A ghost, as you can see. Ghosts have no need for names. Impossible! Somehow he retained his consciousness after dying. It must be the castle's magic. We don't know about you. Or I don't know about you, but he sure seems shady to me. Think what you will, it's your choice. However, can you truly destroy me with a whip that you can't even use? Only one way to find out! Wait, hold on! How do you know he can't use the Vampire Killer? Huh? I find it very odd to find a ghost not controlled by the power of Dracula's castle. Smart girl compared to this foolish boy. Just before I died, I cast a magic barrier on myself, binding my soul to this place. I'm free from the castle's control, but I'm trapped here. But a paranormal entity like you can easily be affected by magic. Casting a barrier that repels the castle's power is impossible, even for me. Just who are you? My name is meaningless, but I suppose you need to call me something. Very well, call me Wind. Mr. Wind? Just Wind is fine. Alright, Wind. What are you doing here? Didn't you hear him? He's trapped here, remember? 
I understand that. But if he truly has as much power, he could use other methods besides just binding his soul here. My, my, you really are a bright little girl, aren't you? Stop treating me like a child. My name is Charlotte. I understand. And who is the boy? Who are you calling a boy? It's Jonathan. Jonathan Morris. Hmm. The reason I'm here, simply put, is regret. I will not rest until the lord of this castle is vanquished. I thought I would lend assistance to those who wish to defeat him. Yeah, graphics are really good for DS. But if you can't move from here, what do you intend to do? In spirit form, I'm able to grant items and techniques I once possessed in life. I think they'll be of great help to you. In that case, please help us. No, I've been able to do fine without any of this help. So, Bro, you can't even crawl. So why don't you just... Right, so far, but this is Dracula's castle. Even if you use that whip, it won't help you when you die. Don't you remember your father? Your father?! <laughs> Enough about my father! Just leave this to me, okay? My father's dead. Forget him. Sorry, but still. No, wait. I'm sorry. Guess I got a little over dramatic there. You might be right, Charlotte. Wind, perhaps we could use your help. Would you help us? If you can complete the tasks I give, only then will I help you. How are things? How are things? The priest should have some useful things for you in the next room. Get the potion and map. Deal. Let's go, Charlotte. Hey, bro. Oh, well, well, welcome back. <laughs> so you're selling your potions here? There, there aren't many now, but my stock will increase little by little. For a price, right? Yes, I'm afraid so, Master Jonathan. Don't try anything shifty, and don't even try to lie. Still, it's true that rural churches are short on money, or so they say. Th thank you, you're lifesavers. Anyway, please take a look. Welcome back! I'll make you a deal. I'll make you a deal. Wait, no. I keep forgetting. Alright, uh, how much money do we have? Oh, we got 1,500. Oh, we can buy one of everything. Might as well. No, we can't. Uh, do we have any? Oh, we'll buy one of these. One of these. I don't really need the tonic. A little bit of MP. Not really necessary. Item display. Thank you. Thank you! <laughs> yeah, yeah, no problem. If you can complete the tasks I give, only then will I help you. I literally just begin studying. Yes. Okay. Was there a map in here as well? What can I do for you? I'll make you a deal! Oh, he has more stuff than just that. There we go, castle map number one, and a blank book. Looks so frightening, the words ran away, leaving it blank. Oh, we can get brass knuckles? Shoot, I thought that was all the stuff he had. Okay, what can we sell? Can we sell the stuff we literally just got? Rotten meat. Beef jerky. Uh, beef jerky's okay. Thank you. Thank you! <laughs> it's your lucky day. Uh, we already have a head guard for Jonathan. Let's give one to Charlotte. Never mind, we only have one. If you can complete the... I just did... That! What do you want from me? I literally just got the potion and the flippin'. Get another one! I'll make, you a deal. I'll make you a deal! You didn't buy the potion! I did, though! <laughs> you better give me eight castle map ones. Okay, is this guy, like, just stupid? Excellent. Oh, I had done it. Oh, there you go. Oh, good. We got a lizard tail. Oh, that... You need a lizard tail to be able to freaking crouch? Now you should be able to advance deeper into the castle. If you complete the tasks I give you, I'll still give you even more, including magic skills. I may be able to entrust you with other items in the future as well. Sounds good to me. Oh, one more thing. Regarding the castle's lord. You mean Dracula, right? I've read books about him. Dracula isn't this castle's lord. What do you mean? That's why they call this Dracula's castle. 
It is indeed Dracula's castle. However, this castle's lord is a vampire by the name of Browner. I've heard nothing about that, as one would expect. His identity has been kept secret for years, after all. He infuses magic into paintings to increase his power. You will undoubtedly come across his paintings in the castle. Search for these paintings. He's using the paintings to make the castle's power his, isn't he? It's Mario 64. Still, he isn't Dracula, after all, so we're safe for now. Be careful. His power grows stronger by the minute. No problem. We won't let you be tied down here for long. That's a promise. Trust us. Jonathan might seem unreliable, but he'd never break a promise. Heh, <laughs> that's reassuring. Very well, best of luck to you. Alright then, let's go find those paintings. I feel like there are going to be great remixes of these songs as well. There we go, at last. Here's a painting! This painting, its power is incredible. It must be one of those paintings, without a doubt. Hmm, I've got it. Care to share? This painting's function. Browner is using it to control the power of this castle. Well then, let's hurry up and rip it to shreds! Impossible. Anything we do will be pointless. From what I can tell, based on the theory of curse amplification, this picture is a multi-layer quantum space barrier. A kind of paranormal phenomenon. Uh, okay, and what's that mean in human language? In short, think of it as a series of walls that surround the magic of controlling Dracula's castle. The painting itself is just the outermost wall. As soon as you break it, it'll regenerate. It's unbreakable. How convenient. So now what? I'll align my magic with the painting so we can enter it. That'll be the best way to circumvent uh, this castle's magic. The risk is quite high, though. No problem. Come on, what do we have to lose? Okay then, here we go. So we're in the painting now? The will of the artist is embodied here. Let's go to the store! Guess we're not going to the store. City of Haze! Oh, this is weird. Yay! We got a new quick warp option. Bip dee bip bip! Let's run, girl! Oh, that's an enemy. The Death Mask. This looks like Thunderbird from Zelda 2. But it's a lot easier. Bye bye! Come, Charlotte, let's go to the cafe. Go on a date. Ooh, health! You're vandalizing my castle! Hey, shut up, Dracula, you're not even in this game. Nice job, Charlotte. Good going. Floating Death Skulls? Not in my house! Oh, look at all the meat! Everybody loves meat. Curdle. Cool. What does that do? It's probably equipment. Maybe it's not. Wait a second, hang on. Can we use the map? No, we can't. Let's go! Beep 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 Might be equipment for Charlotte. Oh, that's true, I didn't think of that. Oh yeah! Let's go! I saw that glowing frog head. The lever curus. Oh hey! Oh sorry, Charlotte. Sorry, Mr. Skeleton. <laughs> 
Jonathan, do you have to vandalize the cap? Yeah! We gotta get money! Oh, hey! This is an awesome boss already! That's probably not a boss. Probably just a beefy enemy. The White Corsage. All right, extra defense for Charlotte, I guess. Let's do it. And I love her corset. Clover Tiara, when did we get that one? Uh, one extra defense and one lower intelligence. You're less intelligent when you wear leather, apparently. Charlotte seems like she really values her intelligence, so we'll uh, let her keep that for now. Ow. We are not doing much damage. Level up! Nice. Alright, Charlotte, I don't need you anymore. Actually, there's literally no reason not. Oh my gosh, it's Henry the Eighth! We just murdered Henry VIII. Well, you know what? He wasn't the best king. In fact, he caused a lot of problems for the world. Never mind. Oh, this is bad. Oh, okay. Okay. Those guys are actually a lot more difficult now. Do we share a health bar? Because it looks like we do. Oh, thank goodness. Health! Really? That reached me all the way over there? This is embarrassing. Oh, you can't... There's nothing over here? Nothing? That doesn't seem right. Rush! A basic combination where both partners take turns attacking. Press up and X to use, consumes MP on use. Is this instead of the dagger? Oh no, it's not. Dagger is up and Y. Ski you later. A claymore? Oh dude, can we get a claymore? 13 attack power, yes please. Oh! <laughs> B-O-S-S! Boss! Sandals! You know, I was just thinking I needed some more uh, defense. Oh my gosh, the Claymore kicks so much butt! <laughs> Wow, we found 50 bucks! And then 10 bucks. Hey, bros, bitch! <laughs> I love my job. Oh, we actually gotta- we gotta watch our health. We could- I could go for a save point right about now. This game has blood, but I don't care. It looks more like catch-up. Henry VIII! How dare you try to stab me! I don't feel bad for him anymore. A lever whip! There's no way that has more attack power than the Claymore, right? <laughs> no. 
Although, uh, we should probably use an item right now. Let's eat some beef jerky. Like, I have a feeling we're going to be reaching a save point soon. Oh, hi. Hmm, a dollar. I love it. Okay, come on. Let's let's get a save point already. No! You deserve it, Henry VIII. Also, didn't we already kill you? Dang, we're finding just all the equipment. There you go, Charlotte. This is very fun! Holy lightning, Batman! Summon lightning in the shape of a cross. Cool. Man, this is a big painting. Blue Skadoo, we absolutely can do. Do! I can't believe it's been this long before I even played a Castlevania game. Secret pass. Oh, quick warp option. Yes. However, I think there's still some stuff we didn't explore in a previous room, perhaps. But oh my goodness, we uh, okay. We really do have to watch our health, though. Yeah, so we can go down here. We shouldn't leave the dollar to lie out. Market Street. Cool. Ooh, free D. You know, we've got a lot of rotten meat. We should probably eat it, right? It smells... To no, we probably shouldn't. We'll drink a potion. We got some of them. We can always buy more. Ow. We're gonna reach the safe point, aren't we? Money! Oh boy, a thousand dollars! I knew it! We reach the safe point as soon as I freaking use the potion. Well, that's what happens on a blind playthrough, I guess. Thank you.